Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here with Roxy's weekly challenge. I'm trying to think what I'm doing. And we are going to do the covers of these. I'll just take those out. Um, ephemera holders. And that can give you an idea for doing other journal covers as well. Now this one is exploding. So obviously it's very heavy and, and this will give it extra... Um, reinforcement for the spine as well by um covering covering it it's not a particularly exciting spine except for i like the label there but anyway we're going to cover that up and what i have here are some pieces i've been hanging on to for quite a long time this one's a cut velvet um and it's just a leftover scrap from probably um it's probably vintage i would say um someone maybe covering a couch or armchair or something like that and i have two two pieces of that it's actually stuff I've been hoarding for a while um, and I think I would like this on the spine of this one and so what I'll do is I just put it on like that and fold it up like so so I've just folded it up so it's slightly overhanging and then I'll grab my fabric scissors and while it's um, folded I'm just going to cut a piece off so it's the right height. It's a very messy, fray sort of fabric, so it'll probably drive me bonkers. But anyway, I love it, and that's what I'm doing with it. So um, that will glue down onto the spine. But before I do that, I need to decide. I want to put a bit of something else. So I was thinking, um, oh, I just saw this piece. This is what's on the inside. This was from Wendy. I actually like these colors a lot together. So I could put that. I was going to put a stripe, thinking about a stripe, but I'm actually thinking those colors are really good. So I could do that because I don't want to cover the whole thing. So I just want to do a little bit. Um, and then I might like, I was thinking maybe something like this or some sort of lace. I've got a few wider laces here. So we'll just audition a few things. So this is a scrap been taken off probably taken off a hand towel or something like that so it's going to be hard to decide so I could have something like this that's backwards but just to give you an eye I could have something like that there and I'm not really mad about that I could have it coming up here and not the whole way up there but no I mean it's nice but not what I'm thinking could go that way um, let's see another one Oh, this one is um, a thinner, not so chunky sort of lace. I think that's the right way. So you could have a little piece of something like that. That is That to me is really pretty. I really do like that there. Um, so that's pretty. I could have a bigger one. That's a bigger one. That's too much. I could maybe have that one. This is what I do. I audition all the possibilities before I decide. I could have something like that. I would take that chunky bit off and have it wrap around. I don't mind that. Um, the other option, as I said, is this one. So you could put it down there. No, I could put it up here like that. No, I could put it like that. I don't mind that. So I think it's between this one and that would wrap around to the other side, which I quite like. Let me stand up and have a look. Can you see? Yes, you can. So I could have that like so. In which case I will hand stitch that on, hand stitch it all together first. Um, and then of course you can go bananas and do embroidery and stuff on, but I'm not gonna do that. That'll take me too long. So I could do that or this. And I'm sure you all have your preference and I probably won't choose what, <laughs> What you're all preferring but um i do think on this one i am preferring that i think it's the colors too i like the color of this this one so i think i'm going to do that so i think i'll trim it off there and i'm going to grab my pins and pin that together uh, can i find my pins a few here so we'll pin this and I'm just going to do a quick 
Now you could machine stitch it if you don't like hand sewing, by all means machine, machine away. Okay, so I'm going to stitch that down and this. So let's let's pin this in place too and stitch it all at the same time. So what I'll do is I'll go around the lace. Oh, actually I need to go down there as well. So I sort of can't get away from that. So I'll go down the center and then I'll stitch around the lace. So that's holding it together. Let's see how much overlap I've got. Oh, not too much. Okay, good. Because otherwise I'd have to catch it down the back there as well. So that's that one. So let's get that one done. And then what I'll do with the other one is maybe we'll decide what to put um, on there. I just use this. It's a, I think it's for tatting. Could be for crochet. I don't know. It's very thin. And um, I'll just quickly invisibly stitch ish this down and then um, we'll glue it in place and then we'll decide the other one. So not too complicated, just choose some a nice fabric that you would like on the spine and um, and then decide if you know if it's a big book you might like to layer it like I have here. So I'm just doing a little little stitch on the top and a long stitch at the back. And I've done it many times in my sewing videos on a Wednesday when I'm creating my background. I'm just also very careful to, you know, every stitch I put in, I'm just going to double check that my fabrics are sitting well. I'm not bunching them up or, you know, that sort of thing. Just big stitches, because then we're going to be gluing. And of course, it would have been ideal to do this before I put any, any, any at least any ephem ephemera in, in the folder. And probably, oh no, I needed to stitch in the, um, the signatures because I wanted to cover up the stitching. I wanted the stitching to be under whatever I put on the spine. So that, that had to be done first, but I probably should have not have filled them in, but I was so excited. I, I, I did put everything in there before it should have gone in because now it's heavy and it'll be just a little slightly more awkward when I'm gluing. So just little stitches. So pretty much you just go down next to where you came up. Oh, I was wondering where the third pin was. I couldn't see it. I thought I probably stitched it under the lace. Imagine gluing it down and leaving the pin in there. Now what I need to do is I've got that extra bit there so I need to sort of come over here and work my way back up just so I stitch that down otherwise you have to put some glue under it because that bit otherwise this top bit won't glue down so I'm just I can feel it there with my finger and I'm just coming along and making sure it's all stitched down there pretty quick and then I'll go around the outside of the lace and as I said it could be an opportunity to um, put some pretty stitching on and everything but I, I don't want to do that now for this particular one I do want to make some other ones for other things. Where I think I'm going to put them all is beyond me because they're huge, but I might, my next ones are going to be slightly smaller. I may have to de-stash a little bit in here and make space for them. So whizzing along here.
Okay, so just catching all the bits that I feel like might lift. there. Like even if you didn't knot your fabric at the back, um, your thread, sorry, your thread at the back, um, we would be putting the glue down anyway, so it probably wouldn't come undone. But I will do a little knot here. And then I'll just leave it long so it glues with the rest. I can actually take my pins out now. Just grab a bit more thread to finish it up because I've got a stitch to there. Yeah. Love the colours. Oh yes, we went to, oh that's right, we came back from Florence yesterday, so it was our anniversary, so we, um, Steffi wanted to go to Florence, he was, it's so funny, I said to mum, normally I feel like maybe we, as women, sort of remember our anniversaries, I always forget, <laughs> and Steffi always remembers, he's always the first one to say happy anniversary, and so he was just like, oh no, it's our 20th wedding anniversary, and 30 years together we need to... Um, well, actually, probably a bit more than 30 years because we was April of two, oh, 1993. But anyway, um, so um, he um, he wanted to go to Florence. So off we went, the three of us, on Wednesday afternoon. And um, we raced around when we got there at 5.30 and, and visited all the little, you know, Lily likes to visit certain clothing stores there and Steffi needed some pants and... There's a nice shop there that we don't have here. So he got pants and, and then there's they've got Cos there and I love Cos and so we, we went there and, and even Lulu enjoyed it. And then we had an aperitivo and then we went back and got changed and went to the went and had dinner and oh my goodness, it was a tiring afternoon. And it was so it was only twenty six degrees, but my goodness was it humid. We were really hot. And then the next day he'd organised to go and had do a wine tasting um about oh probably 45 minutes outside of Florence and um and have lunch so that and that was lovely and there was uh, a lovely um three um American people there and they were lovely and we all sat at the same table and tasted the wines and and ate together and it was like a little family business so it was really really nice really great place highly recommend it so if anyone's coming over and wants to know ask me and I will tell you to go there right that's that i think i'll just no I'm, i'll just slip a little bit of glue under there because that's i didn't stitch that bit down so now this is the tricky bit what i'm going to do first is actually i'll just bring this over closer now this is quite a thick um velvet too so um i will probably have to hold it a little bit to you know make it stick down um, you know until the glue starts to dry that's what I'm trying to say so what I'm going to do is go around the edge here and I'll put this aside and I'll smush glue on my so not I'm smushing glue on my table of course put it up here can't I, I I just nearly said spoke to an Italian I said in counter anyway um, that means anyway I'm going to have glue on there so it's no biggie if I get glue on the book to about there 
I just want to get it around the edge. When things are big, it makes things a little bit difficult when you've got limited space, doesn't it? Okay, I've just wiped clean that off. So I'm just going to put this aside over here carefully. And I'm going to get lots of glue on here. I'm a bit further out there because I do have those extra bits. Lots of glue. This is just a PVA glue, let me tell you that. It's a PVA glue, um, student grade PVA glue, nice and thick and does a great job. So I'm going to just hold this up like slightly. This is why if you know if it didn't have the things in it would be a little bit less heavy for me to lift. That's the only thing. I'm going to cover all of this. Like plenty of glue. I'll do the back afterwards. Excuse the noise. Oh my hands are tiring. I may smooth it out a bit just because I don't want to have too many empty spaces but I don't want to smooth it out so much well if you smooth it out too it'll, it'll start to dry faster because it's a bit thinner okay there and here smooth a little bit okay dry my finger and now I've got to grab this piece so I think I'll put the book down oh sorry I knocked you guys let me just give you a tap, make sure you're... Oh, and I knocked you again. I'm sorry, am I making you seasick? I've got you up as high as I can. This is going to be very messy. Drop it on there. Oh, I could have come out further. No biggie. That's going to go there, and I'm just going to lift it. Put it on there. And I'm now, before I do anything else, I'm going to flip it over like so just stick it on the spine but I have to lift here and glue here now I can see by the dollops of glue there that's I think that might be how far out it's coming if I put too much glue I just get my wet one and wipe it off Oh yes, it came out even further, but I sh it should stick because I did put glue. I did forget that that was overhanging and I've got glue there, but that's not a huge issue. So what I'm going to do is just clean all the bits of glue off my table because we don't want that. Put the lid back on the... No, I'm, I'm not going to put the lid back on that. I might need it. Okay, flip this back over and clean off any excess glue and then just see where is it lifting where do I need to add I don't think I do because I put my glue around the edge oh that was really easy just this bit here a little bit here I think that's fine so there we go that's the first one really simple I like it if it was in a bookshelf that's what you would see and that one is going to stay like that so that is done so let's have a look at the next one I won't do the gluing part on camera so let's Let's just close this. I can do that afterwards. And I won't do any stitching. We're just going to do the composition for this one. Oh, it's so heavy as well. They're both really heavy. Because I've put so much stuff in them. Because I can't help myself. Okay, so for this one, I have another velvet that I absolutely love. This one, isn't that gorgeous? And so that one I'm going to, again, just flip it round. I'm going to do a similar thing. And I'm just going to flip that over and cut there. Okay, 
so that's, that's sort of the up I think that way and so let's put this one on here I like the color combination and I do want a little something so uh, what else I had another piece oh here I've had this piece of fabric I was wondering if this this is a mattress ticking um, would I like to have that in there just to do similar sort of thing possibly and then maybe have something like this do I want something like that I quite like that would I like it further down there no there no there like that no I think I'll do it across the top up here so let me just trim this one off actually I can rip it there we go so that is going to go here I might even put it there that's going to go there and then this is going to go about I'm not going to put it right at the top because that's what I'd be expected to do and I like to do what's not expected put that there and then I need to stitch that so that is what that one is going to look like and then they are done and I absolutely love them very very simple so two fabrics and one lacy doily sort of thing is all I used I could go further and, and add more like you could add as much you can do five elements if you want to um, I could say oh maybe I would like to add more something like that I don't know I'm just giving you examples I have this beautiful little scrap here that's the right way like you could have something like that you know you can always add a bit more if you want to I could add that there hmm. Actually, I like that. I'm going to add that there. Um, so you can add more, um, but if you if you find it hard, just do two, two things. Not not two, three, three. Do three. Here I've got four, but I'm not worried about it because then we've got the cover as well. So um, I think that's fine. So those are the what I'm doing with the covers. This one had three elements, fabric, and I used the same fabric as inside. Um, beautiful velvet and lace and this one has the mattress ticking this gorgeous velvet and then two pieces that's a doily sort of thing and that's a piece of lace so um, yeah really great place if it's for you it's a really great place to put some of your favorite things rather than having them shoved in a drawer um, put them on a spine that you can enjoy or on a, on a cover that you can look at and see and enjoy it so I hope you enjoyed that um, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful weekend and I will see you again soon. Bye.